you guys and welcome to another wish list or anti haul video now this is going to be the last one in this particular format where i'm just chatting with you guys about what my thoughts are because the next time you see this video i'm actually going to be like sharing your responses as well so all the new releases that i see i will post on instagram uh, and kind of ask for your insight as to what you're interested in and what you're not interested in um collect your votes and then we will sit down and film at the end of the month per se or like the beginning of the next month as to um you know what releases happened and what you guys is like what your thoughts are um on that so in case that's something you'd be interested in and something that you're looking forward to definitely go and check out my instagram and like you know watch my stories regularly uh, so that you'll be able to vote whenever i do post that stuff but yeah i just want to quickly give that um like information right in the beginning of the video but now let's jump right into this and let's talk about all the new releases for this particular video because there is a lot and i want to cover everything pretty much so um yeah let's dive right into it so uh the first new release that i have to talk about is from minimalist they launched two cleansers one is an oat based cleanser and the other is called the aqua porian booster um i'm pretty sure both of these are cleansers um i should actually double check that information but i'm pretty sure they are and um the one that did excite me a little bit is the oat based cleanser because i know there are a lot of uh, products in the international market like a lot of cleansers moisturizers that have oats i haven't seen as much in the indian market and i don't know how an oat based cleanser would help i guess it would soothe the skin or it would be more of like a non stripping gentle cleanser i think that's what it would be and this particular one does look good i would say so um i definitely want to check it out a lot of the minimalist products i am interested in typically and i like to review so um this is one that i'll probably get um at some point not immediately but at some point i will probably by the end of this year um so yeah that was that uh moving on next something that um, i just wanted to quickly mention uh but um you guys know i'm not typically into this brand um uh, i'm just not interested in their products i've tried a couple of things which i liked in the past and that is want skin care it's v a u n t want skin care not like w a n t um obviously and i have tried a couple of the products that i like a couple that i did not like but in the past like you know few months to a year or so i feel like i've kind of stayed away from this brand and nothing really has jumped out to me that much i was briefly into um trying out the barrier um something what is it called bbff something like that a uh, moisturizer but i didn't end up getting it and i don't think i will but they have launched something that is called the complete body lotion i do believe it has some actives in it like niacinamide etc but what really bothered me about this was that they call it a body lotion and when you see the size it's i think 150 ml which to me is ridiculous and crazy like if i get a body lotion that is 150 ml i'm going to go through it within a week and for how expensive it is i mean it's affordable it comes in the affordable bracket but for a very tiny amount of products so when you actually um, go ahead and like constantly purchase something like that you're going to spend a ton of money on body lotion and i feel like body lotion is one of those things i want like a jumbo size bottle for like you know affordable under 500 rupee price range kind of thing and i again i understand it's a smaller brand um and they have a ton of actives etc as well uh, that obviously adds to the cost so i get that but i still think that they should have done like maybe a bigger size and made it a little bit more expensive but like given you good amount of quantity like chemist at play for example they make giant body lotions and they are also like a smallerish brand i would say like an up and coming brand obviously it's not like nivea or pons or like a big conglomerate so um yeah that does bother me a little bit um and that's why i'm not going to be purchasing it um so that is that talking about again smaller indian brands we have formula rx and they came out with a moisturizer they came out with another moisturizer they have two which are doing really well which is why i did not see this one coming i didn't think that they would come out with another moisturizer because they have a moisturizer for oily skin 
they now have a pep a peptide barrier moisturizer for dry skin so i didn't think that they could cover any more ground but apparently they can because they have come up with something that's called the malassezia hydra whale moisturizer now if you don't know what malassezia is it's basically malassezia folliculitis i think is how you pronounce it i might be butchering it but that's basically your fungal acne so um i would say a year year and a half from now or uh, like in the past i mean obviously 20 2020 2021 um a lot of people were getting fungal acne on their forehead region and it was something that people were not being able to like treat uh, like you would regular acne or you know any other skin condition um and what was really helping was using um moisturizers that don't have any oil in it um or like any products per se that don't have oil because uh, if you use products that have oil in it or like any ingredient per se that's in your product that has oil it can kind of aggravate the fungal acne situation so um what i understand from this particular product and from the marketing is that it's basically something that's going to help people who have fungal acne and it was kind of weird that they launched this product now because i feel like not as many people have fungal acne anymore and if they do they're able to treat it pretty well that's one reason reason number 2 is that what i'm understanding from their marketing imagery and you know whatever information they have out there online um this is basically again like similar to uh, maybe their original uh, moisturizer that they came out with which is an oil free moisturizer so i'm curious to kind of see and understand how this one is different from that i have that one but i haven't started using it at least by the time i'm filming this video by the time this video goes up i might maybe open it up and try it out and see but um, yeah i'm interested in this product because i want to compare the two and i want to understand if they are similar to each other or are they different are they significantly different from each other i want to compare like all three of the formula rx moisturizers and kind of understand that so uh, yeah i do see myself get this eventually at some point it's not something that i'm like i want to get this right away but it's something again similar to the oat base cleanser by minimalist that i want to get at some point just not immediately moving on next to um another new launch and this is another vitamin c product that plum is adding to their vitamin c range and this time it's an eye cream now you guys know how i feel about eye creams i have not spoken about any eye cream or used any eye cream for that matter on my channel or just in my skincare routine in general for i think again a year year and a half maybe even two years at this point um and that's because again for me personally um i can just use a regular moisturizer under my eyes and be totally fine with it that being said i have to be completely honest i think that um having a vitamin c eye cream is better than having just a regular eye cream uh even retinol eye cream so that matter i feel like it can actually make a difference when it comes to a vitamin c eye cream again i debate on getting something like this or recommending something like this because i just feel like you can use your vitamin c serum uh, and then put a moisturizer on top um in your under eye region i don't have typically very sensitive eyes or sensitive under eyes so i can do that but for someone else out there if you are someone who you can't use a serum or a moisturizer under your eyes and you need a specific eye cream then this is still i feel like much better than so many other things out there um would i get this per se for me uh apart i mean i don't know why like there is something really weird about this specific product i think it's the fact that i've also tried like ula hendrickson vitamin um c eye creams etc in the past um they do have one that i got and back then i was like i wish the indian market had a vitamin c eye cream that i could use instead of getting this specific one so i think me being there in that position and really wanting something like this in the indian market and not finding anything now that there is finally something out there i want to get it i want to just try it out for the sake of it um but again i don't know if i will because i don't think it's necessary um eventually at some point if i'm like placing a plum order will i pull the trigger maybe again i'm not sure i'm not sure but let me know what your thoughts are on this i would really be curious to know uh, if you guys are into it or not 
but yeah let's move on next i feel like today i'm talking about every single product for so long and this video is getting really really long which i don't want so we have to move a little bit quickly uh we have another um moisturizer from deconstruct skincare again like similar to what i said for the formula rx one um i didn't think that they needed any more moisturizers because they have two they have one for oily skin they have one for dry skin which is their brightening moisturizer this particular one is for sensitive skin it's called the skin soothe moisturizer now again i don't have sensitive skin so i don't feel like i'm the target audience for this particular product but i have seen textures of this product online and it looks really nice like um it just looks like a nice simple basic moisturizer that uh, has a consistency that i feel like my skin would enjoy so for that particular reason i see myself purchasing this um at some point not immediately i feel like that's the theme of this video is that most of the products that we have here um if i'm interested in i'm not like so excited that i'm like i want to buy this right away but i am still interested in you know what i mean so um yeah we have that uh moving on next we have something from sunscoop now i don't talk about sunscoop uh, launches all the time because i feel like sometimes it can get a little overwhelming but i have started keeping up with them regularly and like following them religiously on social media and whenever they do launch something new i eventually tend to find out about it so this time they have launched their glow sunscreen spf 16 now uh there was some talk that uh, sunscoop is kind of copying the super goop model uh, that they have going on with sunscreens and this particular sunscreen i feel like is pretty much exactly what the super goop glow screen is it's got the same name it's got the same concept where it is uh, it has a tint of sorts like the pro particular product has a tint but when you like apply it on the face it's not a tinted sunscreen and it's got the same obviously glowy dewy look going on to it which is not for me personally for obvious reasons so this is something that i don't see myself getting i am not someone who likes a glowy sunscreen i like something that is um, you know it just applies and blends on the skin seamlessly and gives me a more like either skin finish or something that's a little bit more matte So I would go for a natural or a matte finish. I wouldn't go for a glowy finish. So for that particular reason, this one is not meant for me. Moving on next, we have a lipstick launch, uh, or rather I should say a makeup launch, and this one is a lipstick launch, and uh, it's from Calaba. So Calaba is launching uh, something that's called their Power Kiss lip colors. Now um, there was a time where um, their kiss-proof lip stains were super duper popular. Everyone was raving about them, and uh, I did end up getting one um, shade, the famous Hot Latte shade, a couple of years later. This time I feel like um, it's kind of like a revamped, um, you know, similar. Um, maybe like a range extension you could say of the same thing it just seems like that it's like a new and improved version because it's the same like longer uh, bottle style packaging and there are a couple of really nice shades in the range uh, it's something that i do see myself getting if i like a shade from the range uh, and i get to try out the formulation then why not so this is something that again i might get i might not get we will see Moving on next something that I'm very very shocked and surprised um, happened and shocked and surprised in a good way Nike launching eyeshadow quads I don't know why I didn't think of this sooner but like Nike should have done this a while back and I have to be honest these kind of remind me of the Colourpop eyeshadow quads but like an indian version that is more easily available and accessible in india uh, the packaging seems kind of similar and uh, i think it makes a lot of sense the color pop ones also seem great but obviously they are not as easy to get for us indians so uh, when nike did the same thing um, i am actually happy that they did this because i feel like it's more my style i've said this in the past that i'm kind of stepping away from my shadows i shadow palettes specifically completely because a lot of times for me personally i just use the matte neutral shades i don't use any other shades in my eyeshadow palettes so then the shimmery shades and like the colorful shades the kind of deeper bolder shades get ignored and they never get used by me and then i'm just having to throw it out or like give it away to someone and stuff like that but this makes so much more sense now i will say that i wish they had like certain 
completely mad quads and i wish that at some point they kind of expand the range and they come out with um you know quads that don't have any shimmery shades for the matte eyeshadow lovers out there obviously so um yeah as of now all the quads that i've seen have two mattes and two shimmers so i still feel like i won't use half the quad uh, specifically if the shimmers are like you know dark pinks or like smoky shades or like any super dark browns or anything like that so for that reason i still don't know if i would immediately buy them i also don't need to buy them so i'm going to just wait and hope that they eventually expand the range and come out with completely matte eyeshadow quads so we'll see if that happens um moving on next we have um another um liquid lipstick and this is from another brand that i really love and that is faces so they have come out with the comfy matte pro liquid lipsticks now i feel like it's not that long ago that they came out with um a liquid lipstick range that i saw a lot of people try out and review etc uh, i didn't end up you know getting that as of yet because where i live i feel like there are enough stores that do like sell makeup and stuff but i haven't seen the newer uh, launches come to like stores that quickly uh, for some reason so um, yeah for that reason i haven't been able to go in store and like check out some of these products in person and now they have another range that um, you know has launched and i want to see all these you know products and um shades in person and then figure out what i want to buy and what i don't want to buy so again it's something that i see myself getting i just don't know if i'll get it immediately or not moving on next we have more skin care which i'm going to quickly you know go through because again this video is getting a little bit more on the longer side um first of all we have something from dot and k and this one again i feel like has been like you basically copying an international us based um skincare brand so dot and k came out with the watermelon glow aha toner which for obvious reasons reminds me of the glow recipe watermelon um toner range it's kind of like a similar thing going on uh, it's got the watermelon it's got um you know some gentle aha's in it etc for me personally even though i love my aha's and bha's um i would rather get something that um has a higher concentration of aha's like 5% or 7% instead of getting something that is like you know a viral product or a popular cult favorite product but um, not my vibe personally so for that reason this one is going to be a skip just because dorin key is trying to create something you know that glow recipe already has that is super popular doesn't mean that i need to get it it's not something that jumps out at me as a product that i would be interested in so that is that moving on next we have um something from chemist at play um and again similar to what i said for some of the other products earlier that were also moisturizers i didn't think that chemist at play needs another moisturizer because they already have four and i've tried out all those four but now they decided to come out with a uh, slightly more heavier moisturizers and i say slightly heavier moisturizers because the ones that they have already to me seem more like lotions as compared to like a cream based moisturizer so now they have an oily skin night cream and they have a dry to normal skin night cream now even though i have more normal to oily skin but personally i see myself getting both of these just because the oily skin night cream might also be suitable as a day cream like i don't know what specific ingredient in this product makes it not suitable for daytime so uh, i wish they had not labeled the product as a night cream uh, because i i feel that some people out there they just read day cream and night cream and decide ki acha is pe day cream likha hai to hum isko din mein hi use karenge and night cream likha hai to hum isko sirf raat mein hi use karenge i don't want that to like you know dictate someone's opinion so um i personally think that if the oily skin night cream is lightweight enough to where i can use it in the daytime and it doesn't have any actives like retinol that i can't use in the daytime then i will absolutely use it in the daytime and then they dry to normal skin one i can use at night as a more thicker heavier moisturizer because surprisingly i've been finding that 
a lot of times the moisturizer that i have in my collection right now are not hydrating enough for the night time and that is a problem i never had to face earlier but now that i am using certain retinols and retinoids in my skincare routine uh, i feel like i need a more thicker heavier moisturizer at night and i've not been able to find a lot of great ones um so um yeah i'm personally going to get both of these again at some point when i'm placing a chemistry play order and i'm ordering a bunch of other things as well these two will also be added to my cart for sure moving on next we have some more minimalist launches and they actually launched three products at the same time like exactly together all three were launched together the first one i kind of knew that it was coming because i had already seen this on nike way 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 before they decided to actually launch it so i don't know how that goes exactly if i'm being honest but they have something that is called their anti pigmentation actives face cream so uh this kind of reminds me of like the faded topicals um uh super popular product again but that one is more of like a lightweight consistency this one because it says face cream i am assuming is more like a moisturizer um it sounds pretty interesting now ever since i have started retinols i feel like i don't need other anti pigmentation products in my skincare routine because when you use retinols over time i notice a significant amount of reduction in my pigmentation that being said i have gone through a pretty crazy um breakout situation recently and i feel like i am almost kind of recovering from it i obviously have a lot of blush going on today so you cannot see very clearly but um, it's finally healing and i feel like it's left over a lot of pigmentation so um yeah it's something that eventually will go away i know with me just regularly using my retinol but uh, this is something that i might consider you know trying out i'm still debating on if i want to go back into using products like alpha butyn serums tranexamic acid serums anti pigmentation serums um, or i'm just happy with you know having a retinol so we will figure that out another uh, product like again like i said they had three launches together next we have the 7% glycolic acid face wash now this sounds very exciting to me because If I'm remembering correctly, I've never seen a glycolic acid face wash. I've seen a bunch of salicylic acid face washes, but I've never ever seen a glycolic uh sorry, uh yeah, a glycolic acid face wash. So, 7% glycolic acid face wash sounds right up my alley. And again, it's something that I see myself getting when I place a minimalist order. So, that's going into my cart for sure. And last but not the least, we have something that is called the alpha lipoic face cream now this one i am definitely intrigued by i'm going to get it for sure i'm telling you that but what intrigues me of this product is that it's got ingredients like i think vitamin c and if i'm remembering correctly it also has niacinamide in it i might be wrong but it definitely has vitamin c i remember that but they say that it's something that you're supposed to use at night i'm not able to figure out again why that is the case for some reason i want to get it i want to try it out and i want to like experiment with it for sure but it's something that would be difficult to use at night for me personally because nights is where i use my aha's and bha's typically which i can use with a vitamin c moisturizer but a lot of times i also use retinol at night and retinol and vitamin c together is not a good combination so i don't know how i'm going to incorporate that but it's something that i do want to try out and i do want to see what exactly this is all about because i've never heard about anything like this in the past so yeah we will definitely be trying that out moving on next to our last three launches that we have that i want to quickly go through before we touch the 30 minute mark so first of all we have a skin r um, sorry not a skin rx nika skin rx launch now I thought that Nike was done with their skin R exchange because they launched pretty much all the actives as individual ingredient serums. Like under the sun, whatever actives exist, they launched everything. And then I saw a couple of bloggers and I also saw some sneak peeks on Nike as to something that was going around with vitamin C. And I was like, I'm getting deja vu. I'm pretty sure they have already launched the vitamin C serums. So like, why this vitamin C ka discussion all over again? and then i discovered that they launched a 10% vitamin c plus 5% niacinamide serum and if you guys know when i hear vitamin c and niacinamide these two names together in one product mere naam 
ऐसे सर पे सींग अपने आप से लाइक कान खड़े हो जाते हैं नॉट सर पे सींग एक्चुअली अच्छे से कान खड़े हो जाते हैं सो या फॉर दैट रीजन आई वॉज सुपर एक्साइटेड अबाउट दिस बट इन माई पास्ट नॉट इन माई पास्ट इन द पास्ट माई एक्सपीरियंस विद द स्किन आर एक्स सीरम हेज नॉट बीन द ग्रेट फॉर टू रीजन द फॉर्मूलाज आर ओके द फॉर्मूलाज आर नॉट बैड बट द पैकेजिंग अनोइज मी बिकॉज द ड्रॉपर इज द वर्स्ट ड्रॉपर आई एवर यूज it just does not work and i don't want to go into that in this video because when i review the nike skin rx serums i will talk about it but i just want to tell you i don't like the packaging at all it's not at all user friendly so for that particular reason i don't know if i want to get this because if i do and if the packaging is just as bad like aisa ho sakta hai that it was just a one off situation with me and nike rx uh, nike skin rx packaging but if all of them are just bad components that nike is using and if this serum also has a really bad packaging then it's going to annoy me to my core so that's why i'm not sure if i want to get this or not i am literally split right in the middle i cannot make up my mind so if you guys have um used the nike skin rx serums let me know if you are also facing issues with packaging if you are then i know that it's just all the components that they're using and then i will probably not get this but agar sirf mere sath aisa ho raha hai maybe it's just a coincidence so maybe i will uh, you know be willing to give them the benefit of the doubt benefit of doubt <laughs> so yeah we will figure that out um you know as the time comes moving on next we have a plum launch um this is their body yogurt so they have a new scent addition uh, to this body yogurts that they have and this one is the trippin mimosas variant now i was honestly expecting the trippin mimosas scent to be very different as compared to what it actually is it smells more like a detergenty body mist to me personally like i've smelled the actual fragrance and that smells more like a detergenty you know face mist to me not face mist body mist sorry uh so uh yeah i didn't really like the scent so if i get any body over it it's just going to be the hawaiian rumba one um which is why this personally is not meant for me but i just want to quickly shout out that acha they have a new body yogurt scent so if you like the trippin mimosa scent and you would like a body moisturizer that smells like that yours your answer and last but not the least we have something from orthodom now this is not a new launch per se it's just a new type of you know product that actually you know what i said it ulta it's a new launch but it's not a new type of product because what they have launched is travel size minis um of like some of their cult favorite products um they have one for the sunscreen which i'm very happy about but i will say though that i find the regular sunscreen to be also pretty like small um uh, and convenient to travel with so i don't know why they would specifically launch a smaller size of the same sunscreen i'm talking about matte mineral sunscreen by the way in case you're wondering they also have a travel size of the phytoceramide moisturizer which is probably the only one that i feel like i might actually end up getting the travel size of that being said um what i don't find super convenient about this particular launch is that they did not launch it on their website like i might be wrong um when i'm saying this because i actually haven't checked out the website but when i saw this um uh, when i saw them announcing this on instagram uh it's available on um this website i think that's called try kia kya or something like that um that sells a bunch of like travel size products or something like that not travel size products but like products that you would want to try out and like experiment with and stuff like that so never heard about this website before i heard about it just because author them decided to launch these um travel size products on that particular website i wish that they have it on their actual website because then i think more people will be gravitating to purchase them because for me personally i wouldn't go on a separate website just to buy travel size minis of some of my favorite products i don't know if that makes sense i don't know if other people also agree with me on this or not um let me know what your thoughts are would you do that typically again i don't know if i would do that so um yeah for that particular reason again we'll see how that goes i think i'm just going to have more information popped up on the screen about this and also in the description box um in case you're interested but yeah i have been talking for almost half an hour at this point so my voice is gone my legs because i'm like 
सिटिंग इंडियन स्टाइल लाइक ऐसे मंडी डाल के आई एम हैविंग रियली बैड क्रैम्स सो आई एम गो नो गो नाउ थैंक यू सो 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 मच फॉर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो यू गाइज आई होप इट वॉज नॉट सुपर लॉन्ग आई थिंक राइट इन द बिगनिंग आई जस्ट कैप टॉकिंग एंड टॉकिंग सो मच दर आई डेंट रियल आई दिस वीडियो वुड बी दिस लॉन्ग बट आई एम हैप्पी दट वी कवर्ड एवरी थिंग दट्स ऑन माई लिस्ट बिकॉज अगेन लाइक ऐसा दिस इज द लास्ट वीडियो दैट गुड सी इन दिस पर्टिकुलर फॉर्मैट एंड देन वी विल मूव ऑन टू मी शेयरिंग योर इनपुट्स एज वेल एज माई ओन थॉट्स एज वेल इन माई विश लिस्ट और एंटा हॉल वीडियोज सो या दैट्स गुड पीट फॉर दिस वीडियो थैंक यू सो 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 मच फॉर वॉचिंग यू गाइज थैंक यू सो मच फॉर ऑल योर सपोर्ट एंड ऑल योर इनपुट ऑल योर कॉमेंट्स ऑल योर फीडबैक इट मीन्स द वर्ल्ड टू मी सो या थैंक यू सो 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 मच एंड गुड एंड द वीडियो राइट योर थैंक यू सो मच फॉर वॉचिंग Until next time. Bye. Bye bye.